All right, what up guys? Plock the Master Gamer here. We're back at it with some Fable Anniversary. And this is, of course, the achievement playthrough where I intend to get every single achievement in Fable Anniversary. When I was looking, I think there was like a couple at least. Maybe it was just one that looked like it was going to be... Ah, that was the one. Drink until you vomit. That one's going to be really easy to get. So I'm thinking we might as well just get that one real quick. So yeah, there's actually a few of these uh, that are going to be super easy to pull off. So I figure why not just bust out a couple of those, right? Oh, that's right, everybody fucking hates me. Yeah, so this one's gonna be super easy. It's, I mean, it, it's kind of cool because it makes my job a lot easier, but in my opinion, it's kind of lame that they made it like, they gave you too many cop-outs for these achievements, in my opinion. And be like, oh yeah, open every single demon door. Or, you know, you could just use the middle finger expression on a demon door and bypass all of that, you know? Like, what? Just make it like two different achievements at that point, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I, again, it makes my job easier, you know, hard to complain. But, you know, as far as like, you know, achievements go, like, they're, they're pretty fucking lame achievements. Like, what the fuck? Not all of them, of course, but, you know, th there's a few of them in there that are just like, what the fuck, dude? So if I understand correctly, I should just be able to fucking give somebody a beer, and that's good enough. So I'm not with you? Huge cheeky swan. Hey, there it is. <laughs> I love it! You're just exhausted. I've actually never... That's fucking hilarious. Who wants a beer? You want a beer? I got you on a beer. You do? You know, I wanted to give it to you, not me. This is fun. Yeah, I realize it. Alright. Who wants a lovely tankard? You want a lovely tankard? It's like a really weird one because everybody fucking hates me, but they're like, I, I love a tankard though. I fucking hate you, but a, a, a tankard of beer would be great. Hey, can I give you a beer? I can, just, can I give it? Hold up. Oh, I want to sponsor his break. Alright, now can I give you beer? Or do they all do it? Hmm. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that they all stop paying attention when you do that. Sponsor the guards break. I love it. Fucking love it. This game is actually, like, really fucking good. Like, I know I talk shit on it, like, here and there, but, like... God, they did, they did pretty fucking, like, the whole, like, I don't know how, like, every single RPG after that hasn't had a sponsor the guards break function. I mean, that's, that's so realistic. It's like, hey, uh, you know, how would I just, like, pay your fucking salary, like, all in one day? You know what I mean? And you just take a fucking break here. Just, just take a little break. It doesn't, you don't have to take a huge break. I'll, I'll pay your whole year's salary, like, literally right now. Just take a break. You know, like, oh shit, dude, hell yeah, dude, I'm gonna go fucking do anything other than watch you commit crimes, you know what I mean? Uh, what was the other one? Oh, that one's gonna be a little bit more difficult. How am I even gonna get a spouse when I'm this fucking ugly and scary? Wait, can I give beer to a kid? Please tell me I can give beer to a kid. I would, I would just love it if I could give beer to a kid. Hey, kid, hey, kid. Nope. No beer for kids. That is not a very immersive experience, if I say so myself. Right, attractiveness, 50, but scariness, 50. Not good. The bulls. Okay, attractiveness. Ooh, what the fuck? I thought bald was supposed to be a good one. There we go. 49. 48. Wait, just let me do both, though. does let me do both. So that should help at least a little bit. I know what we should be able to do, actually. We should be able to get into the Bordello Manor, so we should actually do that. Actually, hold up. This guy might be a tattoo artist. And he's not a tattoo artist. He could have been, though. You know, it was a possibility for sure. 
Here we go. This guy could possibly be a tattoo artist. You never know. Hey, buddy. Leave them alone. Magnificence. What else we got? We got any, uh... Wow. It's all fucking useless, isn't it? Yes, there are. Alright, here we go. I should probably remove the tattoos first. would be a good idea. And then we'll do the Crindon. And the Fire Monkey. That should be a little better. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I've long oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? But I'm forgetting my manners. My name is Madame Mish. Welcome to the famous Darkwood Bordel. Did that Z even need to be in there? Minz. Fuck out of the way, bitch! Oh my god, get the fuck out of the way! I'm trying to get through here, would you fucking move? God damn! Oh, I see what, I see what you mean. Alright, so how about you? Oh, oh, wow, she is... All sorts of weird eyed going on there. They trick you with the boobs, but uh, then you see the eyes and you're like, whoa, what's going on there? I see. So then you get the red head wig from deer. And then what we can do is we go. And then we put on the redhead wig. And then we put on a cross of the bow. Jesus Christ, man. This is bad. I think I'm supposed to get like a headshot or something like that. I think it's like even more specific. My accuracy is just complete dog shit. Bro. Hey, I fucking did it! What the fuck, dude? That was like the most fucking 360 no scope shit ever. Oh, that one's actually a pretty decent one. 3.6% of players have this achievement, so that's not too bad. I see. So apparently. You find all the assassin stuff in chests. And so you find one piece over here. And then the other one, I think I have to, is it Twin Blades Tent or the Elite Camp? The Elite Camp chest. So I'm uh, going to have to wait till we get there at least. But, you know, that's, that's not too far away. I think that's actually probably one of the next quests, if I'm being completely honest. So we should be able to get this silent but deadly one here soon. Chest is here. Habada bing, habada boom, bah. It'd be nice if I could just like donate money. Ah, yep, see? I knew it, so we'll definitely be doing that in the next video. Wonder, uh. Is there any reason to actually do that? Is there? I feel like there's not. I feel like there's absolutely no reason to actually do that. I guess what I could do real quick is get some experience, because I probably need some. So what we're going to do for now, we're just going to do a round of experience gains over here. Because why not? Oh, son of a bitch. That's why not. Alright, so that's annoying. We're going to have to, like, you know, come back or whatever. But it's fine. It's fine. Alright. I think there's good stuff in here, too, so fuck it, we might as well. Like a skill potion and a strength potion, that type of shit. Ooh, a ruby, I don't need that. What the fuck was that? Dusty old book. 
There we go, Ages of the Skill. Ages of the Will. I mean, that's, that's still helpful, though. I still need both of those things. Now, what in the name of donkey dick fuck is going on here? I mean, I guess this kind of works, though, until these guys are dead. Whatever that may be. Oof. Ouch. Oof. Ouch. Did not work too well, did it? Did not work at all. Is this the right one to use? That was at least somewhat effective, yeah. I don't even know if I have enough re- Well, I don't have enough renown to do a uh, hob cave, so actually I don't think I do have enough renown, for being completely honest. If I understand correctly, I think you need to have at least enough renown to do the hob cave quest. In order for the big spawning crazy dudes to spawn. I mean, it'll still be worth something though, so it's not all gonna be for a loss. And then we'll just do a little bit of this, too. Oh, yeah. Look at all that experience. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's, uh, let's go spend some of this shit and get the fuck out of here. We definitely need some accuracy, man. This shit's getting pathetic. Hmm. Oof. I feel like I might as well just do fucking speed. YOLO. That's right, I can use, like, everything, can't I? Some fucking ghost swords going, too? Why not, huh? Don't have slow time yet. I should probably get fucking slow time. And... Force push, brother... Is there anything I can afford that's, like, actually worth it? Boom. So that's not too bad. It's a pretty decent setup we got going on there. Oh my god, look at my look at my little mustache do there. It's ridiculous. But yeah, anyways, I think that's about it for this video. I think that about wraps it up. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any other gaming content for that matter. And then of course, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can help support this channel monetarily. You know, maybe help me pay some bills around here, that sort of thing. But yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable Anniversary. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.